Today, we're going to have a closer look at the Ofero Laser 2 from Orter and see what it's capable of, as well as point out a few things that is very important you know before considering buying this machine. It's very easy to get up and running with the Ofero Laser 2. It takes less than 5 minutes to assemble. It's literally just fastening a few screws and adjusting the height of the laser with a distance gauge. Nothing about this machine is complicated. Even focusing the laser is easy. The laser has a large working area of 390 by 390 millimeters. We tested it to make sure it was correct. And this, of course, being an Orter machine, the true working area is actually 390 by 390 millimeters. Ortur is one of the brands we trust when it comes to lasers. The large work area, as well as you have the option to choose the laser you need, makes Ofero 2 the perfect machine for both beginners and experienced laser users. We're using the LU2-4 short focus laser, which is great at engraving and cutting thinner materials. You can also choose the LU 2-2, that's the best one for engraving, especially softer materials. Or you can choose the LU2-4 Long Focus, that comes with an air assist nozzle, and is mainly meant for cutting. As we mentioned, there are a few things you need to keep in mind about this machine. And it's mainly to do with the fact that it doesn't come with any end stops. End stops tells the machine when it has reached the outer limits, so it doesn't crash into the frame. Since this is not present, you cannot use automatic homing and you can't home it. You need to use a start from current position. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And it's very common to use those settings with bigger CO2 lasers as well. It just means that the laser will not start from the corner of the work area, but will instead start from this green marker. So you have to manually place the laser where you want it to start. We also prefer this mode, as we think it makes it easier to align the laser with the area we want to cut or engrave. There's one more thing to keep in mind, but more on that at the end of the video once we demonstrated it during the next couple of minutes. First, we're going to test the engraving capabilities of the machine. It can engrave at high speeds, such as 5,000, 10,000 and even 15,000 millimeters per minute. This makes the Ofero 2 one of the fastest machines on the market while still remaining very accurate. But while we have tested it at high speeds, we never need to engrave that fast. There's no problem engraving on glass. Here we have painted the glass with black paint. Otherwise, the laser would just pass through the glass and not being able to engrave it. Then we just have to wash it off afterwards. We also tested engraving on wood and leather. Be aware that you should always use the laser in a well ventilated area. And this is very important when working with leather as well, as it truly stinks a lot. Here are the completed results. We also tried a bit of 3D engraving on the logo. We have also thoroughly tested the machine on cutting capabilities. First off is 4mm plywood. This is ordinary plywood and not special laser plywood. According to the recommended settings for laser, we should run it at 100mm per minute, at 100% power, and one pass to cut 4 millimeter plywood. And as you can see, it cuts right through. It's also worth noting how clean the cut is, although we're not using any external air assist. We also tried running the laser at 200 millimeters, 100% power, and two passes. That also cuts straight through. And finally, 
we thought we'd try 300 millimeters, 100% power and two passes. But that did not cut all the way. But one additional pass did the trick. So the recommended settings from Orter seems to be very accurate. Then it's 2.8 millimeter black acrylics. Note that any lighter colors will be harder to cut and transparent and white is impossible. This is simply due to the wavelength of laser and not the actual power. There is no recommended settings for 2.8 mm acrylics, only 5 mm. So we had to run a few tests, starting with 100 mm per minute, 100% power and one pass. That's no problem. So let's increase the speed to 200 mm per minute, still 100% power and one pass. It almost made it all the way through, just a tiny bit left. Just touching it and it fell off. So we had to do a final test of 150 millimeters per minute. Then it's more or less through. But sticking to 100 millimeter per minute, 100% power and one pass definitely works the best. As you have seen, it's not uncommon to manually move the laser to the position where you want to use it when working with the current position mode. But one thing to keep in mind if you ever have to redo a cut after you move the laser is that the two stepper motors on the y-axis operate independently and neither of them have any end stops. Meaning if one side is moved more than the other, the cut will not be aligned anymore. This will not cause any problems if you use the move buttons in your software or do not have to move the laser. It's only a problem if you move it and misalign it between cuts. The build quality of the Affair Laser 2 is great and the price point is even better. So if you ever wanted to get into lasers or need a new bigger frame, you just can't go wrong with this one. It's very good. Hope to see you back, so remember to subscribe.